So myokines are awesome. They're some of my favorite molecules. Oh, I love them. So they're a messaging molecule. Since you've referenced them, you probably know that they, they provide messaging. So they, only, they not only have localized effect on the tissues right around the area where they're coming from, but they also have uh, effect uh, in distant tissues. And so the chief influence that myokines cause in our, within our bodies are they signal our bodies to do some really two really important things, burn fat and to build muscle. But guess what type of fat it's signaling? Burn the bad stuff like fat within the muscle, fat within your, your visceral fat, and deep subcutaneous fat. So if you want to get rid of those love handles, you want to produce myokines, another molecule very similar that causes burning of fat and building a muscle is a, is a relatively newly discovered molecule called LACFE, L-A-C-P-H-E. It's actually a hybrid molecule of lactate and phenylalanine. So those two molecules get, get hybridized, they get bound together, and that LACFE molecule gets secreted um, by muscles uh, when you're engaged in maximum forms of, of exercise. So uh, there is no, uh, 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 you, you shouldn't be thinking about muscle fat like, it, like it's, a, it's a positive thing, something you want. You should think about it as uh, the desirable state of, of the human is to not have that humanized marbling. And when you live properly, like doing sprinting, uh, eating food in whole form, you will have less or no uh, muscle fat and no visceral fat by doing that. So, uh, but doing the right things helps to get rid of it. Uh, you just want to, the biggest thing I try to work with my clients is to teach them how they should be living. And I, it's not like, hey, you know, this is, this is from science and we got this all figured out these new marks. We have been doing this for hundreds of thousands of years ancestrally. And it's basically when we set out to reverse chronic disease, we didn't, we didn't go to the studies. We started basically with uh, the blueprint going on in nature. We saw that nature doesn't have a lot of chronic disease. Animals in the wild don't have it. It's just one species that roams the earth called Homo sapiens that's filled with chronic disease. And so the long and short answer is uh, animals in the wild live better uh, because they do what they should do. They eat what they should eat. They don't eat what they shouldn't. And uh, they exercise in a very different manner than humans. Humans either don't exercise at all or uh, the other extreme where, the, you know, most people hang out, either they're not exercising or they're going to the gym and doing way too much uh, exercise, way too much endurance exercise. And what you want to do is brief, intense, um, infrequent forms of exercise right in the middle. And uh, that's, that's your sweet spot and your Goldilocks. And you want to be eating what you should eat and not eat what you shouldn't. And so when we looked at ancestrally that, uh, there wasn't any processed foods. So we said, let's see what happens to humans when you cut out processed foods. And so this is a good segue to show uh, exactly what happens when you cut out processed foods because we have examples of that because we studied it in um, our clients and our patients and our subjects. So here is an MRI study. Feel, see all that red in there? That, that is visceral fat. So we painted it red and the yellow is the subcutaneous fat. Now, from here to here, the next image is just two weeks later in the 68-year-old guy. Now, right away, Jesse just looked at that and said, ah, there's less red. But isn't that remarkable? In two weeks, he reduced his visceral fat that much. And what's interesting, Jesse, he only did one thing. One thing. Which ties back to my question before, the fact that do we need to address all of these in a heavy way to have an impact? And no. right here, we're seeing you don't. Yeah, just one thing will reduce it this much. Now, the more you do it, the more you address those other five things, the better your results. But you can at least start. Uh, I like to tell people that when you pursue health optimization, it's not a light switch. You know, it's not, you know, immediately you, you, you just nail it and you become instantly healthy. It's a journey that you march towards for the rest of your life because you derive the benefit all along in that march. As you're heading in the right direction, you're getting constant benefit and improvement. But 
your first decision is, I want to really become healthy. That's the light switch. It's a decision. And then this, the first thing I get my clients to do is stop what this guy stopped doing, which is he cut out processed carbs, stopped processed foods, and he ate meat and vegetables in whole form. He ate clean, nothing processed. And I get these questions of, well, what do you mean by processed? Well, if you change the form of meat or vegetables, that's processing. So basically a chunk of meat and a chunk of vegetable. Now I do advocate fermented foods and they say, well, that's processing. Nope. I'm talking about processing by humans. So if it's processed by nature, like it ferments, muy bueno, you can do that. Fermented foods actually improve the, the quality of that food by introducing microbes. And I don't want to get, get into that just yet because I'll, I'll get sidetracked. <laughs> but suffice it to say, the purpose of this, this series of scans is to show what happens over a period of time. You know, when somebody eliminates processed foods, they go from all this visceral fat here and take a seal that red streak. Um, oh boy, it doesn't really show up. So let me move it uh, over there. Do you see that red streak in that muscle? I got to hold... Uh, that red in that muscle there is that human marbling. And then watch over 35 weeks how, how much that, that visceral fat was eliminated. And look at those muscles now. No more human marbling. The, the, that red streak has left. And that guy just cut out processed foods. He didn't exercise one minute. And here's, I mean, I'll... I'll I'll be real. I, everybody has a degree of arrogance. How much do you have? Now, my arrogance was like super mad at this guy because he wouldn't exercise. But I, we let him early stay in that study because he at least cut out processed foods. And he was an older guy. And we needed older people. So we allowed him to stay in. Am I ever glad? Because now I see I got this series of scans from just one Thing, cutting out processed foods. This is what we saw. This huge impact visually by MRI proven how much this visceral fat was eliminated when this guy cut out processed foods without exercise. So he didn't stop drinking. He didn't work on his stress. He didn't work on his sleep. He didn't uh, uh, do a, any sprinting or anything else. All he did with stop processed foods. So if you're listening today and you're wondering what you can get started doing, what you should first get started doing, cut out processed foods. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. Nothing that I'm aware of as a physician whose passion is to help people become the best biological versions of themselves possible to optimize their health.